Watching clips, the best moments from our live streams every Monday and Friday. Don't miss out. Watch it. President Trump uh, said, and then there's just been all kinds of craziness because Mana has pulled the song with Nikki Jam saying, We won't work with Rasis. No, that's, you know, they're you know? sticking to their moral high ground. You know? Okay. Uh, Mana pulls Nikki Jam collaboration from streaming services following Donald Trump endorsement. We don't work with racist. And Nikki Jam, uh, I guess, uh, went on stage in Nevada. With uh, yes, Trump. yes, it was, it was in a Nevada. bizarre exchange where he mis he Trump misgendered him. <laughs> do, do you know the Do you know what's going on with that? That that's news there, you know. Yeah, I I thought that was a joke on it, you know. So could maybe could not, but uh, yeah, when he came on, I goes uh, he goes, you got this guy Nikki Jam because a lot of people came up. It wasn't just him. They had right. Uh, there was a you know, lot of uh, yeah. influencers. Yeah, it was like a lot of influence. Yes. Yeah. 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 Because the Nick boys came in, I think, before him or something. And mm -hmm. the guy from Pawn Starts who lives there uh, was right, there. Right. So it was, it, it was like influence jam, which Vegas usually is. I mean, I attended one of the rallies one time when we were in Vegas. And uh, usually there's a lot of influences there. Um, and, uh, you know, Nikki Jam did come up. Um, and he was short. Everybody was short. It wasn't like a big thing. Um, and he just came and says, you know, uh, for somebody of me to be to meet the president, it's it's rare. And um, and you know, I support him. And and kind of like that was it. And uh, and then Manal went nuts. You know. Well, let's yeah. Let, let, before you go on, let's read a little bit from the Variety article that we pulled up uh, because I have seen some incredible amount of hate thrown at Nikki Jam on Instagram from friends of mine. From friends of mine. Because Mana put this up and then I, I saw a few friends post, you know, commenting in Mana's thing. I was like, oh, oh, okay. All right. So here we go. Manaz removed all traces of their collaboration with Nikki Jam from the surf. That's just so, that's just so stupid. Uh, from streaming service from the latter appeared at a Donald Trump rally over the weekend. The reggaeton singer originally from Puerto Rico publicly endorsed Trump for president at a rally September 13th. Uh, Latin Grammy winner uh, mistakenly introducing the Latin Grammy winner as a, as a woman. Latin music superstar Nikki Jam said, you know, Nikki, she's hot. <laughs> uh, you know, he doesn't know who's who. He's just like going through, you know, he's just doing this thing. That, 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 that's not a big deal. The next day, Sunday, Mana pulled up, open, uh, uploaded a statement to their social media channels announcing the removal of their collaboration from Jam, with Jam from streaming platforms. The image used in the post was of white and red text that read, Mana does not work with racists. In the caption, the band wrote in Spanish for the past 30 years, Mana supported and defended the rights of Latinos around the world. Latinos around the world. Not, not just people, right? Latinos. Right. But there's no business or promotion that is worth more than the dignity of our people. That is hmm. why Mana decided to remove its collaboration with Nikki Jam on Fiesta Cabeza from all digital platforms. Ah, uh, Latinos around the world, dignity of our people. Help me out here, man. What's going on? Yeah, it, it it's one of those things. I mean, if you don't know Mana, you know the they they had a huge run um, as a you know Spanish rock kind of indie band when the mm -hmm. indie bands were a thing. They had a lot of hits, a lot of tours. They're more like what you would call like fresa, it's strawberry in, you know, like the lingo. Yeah. And that and just means like. Go right. Ahead. What is what does fresa mean? Because we have a lot of gringo, uh, gringo friendly uh, people here, including Michelle, Force of Light Entertainment. What's up, beautiful lady? Good to see you here. Yeah. Fresa means what? Fresa means a little bit like a like a soft, soft pop. Very like, you know, like a somebody like a. It's it's more like '80s pop style, more uh, uh, more you know less less hardcore 
should we say? I'm gonna I'm so gonna nicely. I'm gonna get to the chase. Afresa is an entitled snob, probably rich, probably from a uh, from high high uh, you know so, supposedly a higher class high society of Mexican or Latino, and they look down on uh, on los pobres, uh, and uh, there's there's a whole system there, my friend. How's that? How did I do? No, very good. And, you know, but now, you know, are well off and uh, Nikki Jam came from poverty. So and, you know, they're, nice. being, you know, pretty, uh, uh, pretty rich, light skin, should we say? And, uh, you know, Nikki mm -hmm. Jam not. So that's it's another it's another kind of thing. Of, <laughs> I didn't you, know? Even, you know what? I didn't even look at that. Because you're absolutely right, you know, uh, the, the and anyone who's never heard of Mana, I'm sure by now you have Mana is kind of like for a long time. They they were ca called like the 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 police, the band, the police of Me of uh, Mexico. You know, always had some mm -hmm. good good sounding melodies, great tunes. They're huge. They're actually huge. Oh yeah. They're um, good. But yeah, they 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 definitely you know have a very uh, mixed European look, whereas Nicky Jam's very uh, dark. Yeah. But now you know why that matters. It shouldn't, but yeah. Plus the the music, you know, you have like very, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, rocky melodic tunes mm -hmm. with Mana and uh, Nicky Jam is like it's like hip hip hop reggaeton. So you know, it's very how should we say like streets, you know, urban as sure. they like to you know stereotype us, but. Um, it does seem like it's it's one of like the, it, the, another one like uh, you know entitled like I said entitled rich people looking down on people from the hood because they don't approve of what they're saying because basically they're saying hey uh, we want somebody that's going to help us come up not 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 well up, they know? they want they don't want to work with people that they don't agree with especially with this you know it doesn't it doesn't toe the line and. You know they've always they've always been a certain way, Mana, and I, I do love their music. They're they're incredible. They're incredible live, uh, you know. But you take the good you take the good with the bad. I mean, what what this has spurred on is people really condemning Nicky Jam, people condemning anyone that doesn't agree or that is supporting publicly Trump because. They're saying that you are oppressing me with your support of Trump. Your support of Trump is suppressing me as a human being. Right. I mean, just outrageous uh, statements, man. Go on. No, yeah. I mean, you're basically saying that uh, my multi-millionaire, you know, the world tour mm -hmm. you know, person is being somehow uh, less than because you're voting for Trump. And yeah. You know, and, and that's another thing. I mean, Nicky Jam mm -hmm. does a lot of stuff for the kids. He does a lot of stuff for inner cities. I mean, Puerto well, you Rico said it right there. Stuff. Yeah, you said it right there. Is that he comes? He was poor. He comes yeah. from poverty. Yeah. That's a, that's that. I mean, and and let me let's get let's get it straight, guys. Poverty in Latin America is a lot different than poverty. Right. Here. Yeah. 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 That's it's <laughs> so, not comparable. <laughs> soon as you said that, I was like, oh, okay. Well, you know, but. You know what? It's his right to support or not support one any of these people, or yeah. in, just like it's uh, Caitlin Clark's uh, right, uh, the basketball player, Usher, mm -hmm. the singer. It's like their right to say, you know what? Go and educate yourself. Go and vote. Don't. I'm not going to publicly endorse anyone, and I I really respect those people when they do that. You know, because they're saying, you know what? I'm going to use my platform right now to say, you know what? Go educate yourself. That's it. Yeah. Um, okay, so what do we have here? We have an image. This is Nikki Jam with Trump on the stage a couple days ago, correct? Right. And, uh, and uh, yeah, you know, these people were, were not kind to, uh, to Nikki Jam at all. And, in yeah. fact, if you go up here, uh, let me see. You guys still on this with me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is from a some sort of journalist, I believe. I don't. I don't know who this Adrian is. I just saw this updates. Mm -hmm. Nikki Jam deletes post supporting Trump, so he 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 had to delete it because he's getting so much hate. Disabled comments on the last post after Mana removes their collab in wake of endorsement. I'm even surprised how hard that they're going at him in comment section of his second to last post. So let let me ask Mana this. 
Fair. Are you happy now? Are you happy now? Because what you're what you're proposing, right? It's like, yeah, you know, peace and love, and we're this and we're that. But we hate anyone that's gonna vote for that guy. Go get him. Sick him. This whole thing is escalating, man, and we're seeing it all over the place, Fletcher. This is not yeah. good. This behavior is not good. Yeah. It's uh it's it's I mean, I can't I can't even describe it because you know, Mana, they're so they're so up there in mm -hmm. the in the just you know elite status, you know, they're they're that was kind of like their thing. They play stadiums, they mm -hmm. they do all kinds of these things to to show like, hey, we're down with the people, but really they're just, you know, huge, huge uh uh, you know, huge conglomerate type band, and they do things like you know they go to Venezuela. They go, you know, he he vacations the lead singer fair, you know, vacations in Cuba, and he wants to go right. to Cuba and stuff. So you're <laughs> like, and right. you know, he usually wears like Che Guevara shirts, right? Right. So right. he's the guy talking about hate. You know, you're talking about Che Guevara, the guy who you know murdered people just because of the color of the skin and because you know mm -hmm. their sexual orientation. So you're like going, yeah, this guy's the racist, uh, you know. But he was saying when they wanted to play Cuba, when he's, you know, like, like in defense of that, it's like, hey, we gotta, we gotta, you know, we gotta be open to people with different opinions. Is that yeah. wasn't that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was an interview that he did with some. Uh, I think it was like a Cuban mm -hmm. uh, newspaper, some or Venezuelan newspaper, mm -hmm. where he's like going because his drummer is part Cuban, mm -hmm. um, so it's like you know his family had to escape Cuba. Um, mm -hmm. So he doesn't have the best of memories from Cuba. So he's like, yeah, you know, uh, this it's unfortunate. We got to listen to both sides and and, you know, kind of unite. And it's like, so wait a minute, you have to listen to both sides and unite. That's completely opposite of what you did. Now is the office meds or something or something? Who knows? But it does seem like, you know, he's he is. But they are pushing a, a hate campaign towards Nikki Jam. Which it's it's it, I mean the optics I, I don't know even understand the optics because it's mm. only because they're on the right on the right side meaning the the side that all the conglomerates and all the the media circles mm -hmm, like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's the only reason they're getting away with this because if there was any other it would have been like you know rich and title mana go after like urban singer. I mean, it would be in every newspaper if they was like the other way around. If Mana had sponsored Trump and, you know, then they go after Nikki Jan for sponsoring uh, Vice President Harris, then it would have been an onslaught, meaning like the whole world would have been turned upside down. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure they would have canceled all Mana's tour and all this kind of stuff because I guarantee you they're calling concert venues and stuff like that. They're probably doing stuff like that to cancel Nikki Jam. Well... I really hope. Here's my hope. Okay, and we're gonna move on. We have a uh, <clears throat> we have a uh, breaking news. Uh, so we're gonna get to that breaking news in a second, courtesy of one of the members of the channel, Angelus. I see you. We're gonna get to your breaking news. Here's what I hope, Mana. I hope that you find uh, Fed and all, all all you Mana Fulios. I hope you see what is going on and how people are treating Nikki Jam. And how effed up and wrong it is. And I hope you say something. Because that behavior is unacceptable. All right? You are basically, you, you, you basically condemn this man. Which I think is just cowardly. It's a coward's move. And look at the treatment. The, your people, your fans... Right. And, and and let's be honest too. people who don't like Trump already. You've given them a free pass to hate on the man. To hate on any Latino that's probably going to vote the other way. Or how they want to vote. Right. So, Mana. Right. You know what? You need to you need you need to stop this. You need to say something to your people because you're like, although I don't we vehemently don't agree with Nikki Jam, blah, 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 blah. We don't accept this type of, of, of behavior. Because let me tell you what that leads to. That leads to people confronting Nikki Jam, 
maybe on the street, maybe somewhere at a concert. I don't know what. And there's going to be some physical altercations. I really hope, Mana, I really hope you're happy because that's absolutely ridiculous.